I love a good piece of multifunctional gear. Today we're going to talk about the piece of gear that I always carry in the woods, regardless of the time of year, that I think is probably the most versatile item in my bag. Today we're going to look at the Shema. If you're not carrying one, you need to be. Here's why. Always advocate for carrying enough first aid gear to get you through, but in a pinch, if you need it, these make a really effective bandage. There are a ton of different ways to tie and wear these things. One of my favorites, and I constantly use it during the winter, is as a gaiter. Uh, and I'll do, it, it's, I pretty much just fold it into a triangle, pull it around like the old school bandit mask. Tie it off, get it just an overhand knot in the back and then pull everything out, out front. Tuck it underneath here. Pull it back down, kind of keep it nice and loose and soft. And in a pinch when it starts to get cold. Now I can cover up the rest of my face. I usually have a beanie, but it works for me. Keeping with the first aid side of the world, um, we talked about earlier about using it as a bandage. Also works great for uh, doing wraps for splinting. So if I'm going to use my trekking pole or a stick or a, a SAM splint, I still need to have a way to tie that off. If I don't have an ace wrap, splinting. This is my multi-purpose towel. I use it to clean the condensation off the inside of my tent and just dry things off. Uh, but then at the same time, I'm done doing dishes. This is my cleanup. If I have you know, wiped myself down and cooled off when I got to camp after a long day hiking, I'm drying myself off with this. It's my towel. So when it comes to water filtration, obviously I'm not gonna try to filter stuff through here and trust that this is going to keep the bacteria and protozoa and all the nasty stuff away. But what I am going to do is pre-filter my water through here into my dirty water container and that removes all the larger particulates to prolong the life of my water filter. Sometimes you need a little bit more coverage than a simple bandit mask will work. So this works great. Do the full head covering. Keeps everything nice and warm inside. Also keeps the sun off of you. Continue down the road of first aid. These make great slings. So if I've injured my arm and I need to immobilize it for the walkout, I have basically just a simple overhand knot up here, drape it over, put my injured arm inside it. I pull the two wings out and around it, tie it back up here so that I can keep it immobilized. Works great, gives you great support. Speaking of slings, and you guys know that I'm on constantly out hiking with the dog. If she injures herself, this makes a great sling for her as well. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to fold it up so I've got a nice wide purchase on here. If it's injured in the back legs, I'm going to wrap it right across the bottom of her hips, roll it up into a U, and I can support her here to help her walk out. If it's a front leg, I'm going to go under her shoulder on the injured side and then, get again, providing that support from the top side so I can help her walk out if I can't physically carry her out. If it's a small dog that you're working with, just like we use this for a sling to put my arm in, I could easily put that as a sling, not with my arm, but put the dog in it. So kind of like a swaddling approach, kind of like you do with an infant. Texas summers are oppressively hot. I'll take, wet this down, drape it over my neck, around these carotids, get everything pulled in nice and tight. It retains the moisture, keeps helps cool things off, keeps the temperatures at least tolerable. Works great. Next up is trying to hang my bear bag so I can keep my food safe while I'm out and about. I'm gonna lay my shema out, put a heavy object in here, rock, stick, something like that. I'm gonna pull the corners together. I'm gonna take my bear bag cordage. I'm gonna tie a little taut line hitch in there, neck it off right here, throw that over the line or tree limb, whatever I'm gonna be hanging from. And so this is my throw bag. Worst case scenario though, 
I have used this as my entire bear bag. Just put all my food and stuff in here, and that's what I throw over. Uh, it's perfectly fine for that. I wouldn't do it if I were worried about it raining, but in a pinch, it works for both. This is always my grab handle for getting the hot stuff off the stoves. Keeps me from burning myself when these little ends get too hot. So this is my pot holder. This is also my firewood carry. So rather than loosely carrying in my arms a handful of pieces back to the campfire, I'm gonna lay this down on the ground in a diamond shaped pattern, lay my firewood in, stack it, grab the two ends, pull them together in the middle. Way easier to carry far more stuff. This is also my hobo sack. Or if I'm gonna do a little short day hike out, uh, I'm gonna take, just like we do with our bear bag, I'm gonna put my essentials inside it, pull it to the top, taut line hitch around the top, and then I'm gonna hang this right off the end of my trekking pole, full on hobo sack. I would really hate to do this. It is 100% cotton in a pinch. If I need to make char cloth, there it is. Uh, if I need tinder to get my fire started, there it is. Again, that's a last ditch effort though. Speaking of last ditch efforts, if we just absolutely have to have cordage, I can go through and strip this down into probably an inch, two inch wide, all the way across, and I've got several feet of cordage here if I need it. Again, last resort. When it comes to an improvised tourniquet, these things are awesome. Go through and do the horse bike tourniquet on here, uh, you've got plenty of real estate. You're not having to worry about you know, trying to go through and tie together uh, bandanas and all that fun stuff. You have more than enough real estate to cover most people's limbs. Yeah, I'm a wuss. I always take a pillow into the woods. Usually one of those inflatable things because I, I like the small profile of it, but they kind of scoot out from under my head and they crinkle and make a lot of noise. And quite honestly, most of them aren't big enough. This is my pillow case. I'll go through it. I'll put the inflatable pillow in here and then usually the next day's clothes, bundle it all up inside my shima. I've got something nice and smooth. It cuts down on me slipping and sliding back and forth. And I can also elevate the size of that pillow and make it a little bit larger. It's awesome. Speaking of taut line hitches on these things, uh, if you go through and do one, uh, rather than on a diamond pattern, you do it in a square, so I'm bunching the two corners together, taut line hitch over one end, taut line hitch over the other. You've in essence made a really small hammock. It worked great for a gear sling for you to just put your stuff. Uh, when you make camp, I can hang that up in the tree, put my gear sling and stuff up there, just to keep my stuff off the ground. Uh, I'll do this when it's muddy out. Uh, it's just uh, easier to keep my stuff from sitting in the mud. I can do a little quick sling Hang in the tree, everything's golden. So just like we talked about with the bear bag, I can also go through here and put my supplies in here and really just roll it over a few times. Now I can turn around and take this and tie this around my waist and I've really just made a fanny pack. Speaking of those oppressively hot summers here in Texas, the trick for me is staying out of the sun. I do not tan, I don't have any hair, all that fun stuff, so I'm constantly worrying about keeping my head covered. Nice and easy peasy. Now I can sit out and kind of keep things straight. I can make it thicker or thinner based on how many, how many layers I pull over, uh, but this is usually quite enough to suffice for just about anything I need to do while I'm out and about. It's not a wonderful... We're all trained to recognize faces. Even out in the wild, a person's face will stick out to you really quickly. Um, that's why these things are actually wonderful for camouflaging. Anything that you can do to break up that natural pattern, uh, whether it's the full covering or just something this simple, obviously I'd want a hat as well. Uh, and I often wear this incorporated with a hat, but you just want to kind of break up those lines. It works quite well. Last but not least are the straight up cool points. I mean, don't you get extra tactic cool points for having a shema? or 20. Okay, hopefully you guys found that beneficial. Like I said, I carry these things every single time I go into the woods. 
They're incredibly versatile. It's like the American Express card. You never leave home without it. It's my Shimano. Um, if you're interested in picking one up, I'll throw a link to the ones that I normally carry in the description below. Uh, there are cheaper options. Uh, this just seems to be the highest quality one that I have found. It's made by a company called uh, Combat Flip Flops. Uh, theirs has been just really on point. I'm really digging on theirs so far. They've got a handful of assorted colors and options out there. Uh, but as always, if you're out on the trail watching this right now, just remember, left foot, right foot, repeat. We'll see you out there soon. Don't move. Yeah, that's my